definitely sue him for us. Oh, we're going to definitely sue him. We're going to be a real pain in the ass. He's going to know my name personally. That man in the White House. Who can't go a day uh, uh, without threatening our fundamental rights. Yes, we need to focus on Donald Trump and his abuses. We need to follow his money. We need to find out where he's laundered money. We need to find out whether or not he's engaged in conspiracy. It's important that everyone understand that the days of Donald Trump are coming to an end. I look forward to going into the office of Attorney General every day, suing him, defending your rights, and then going home. Donald Trump now has six days to come up with that $454 million. And if he can, he could lose his properties like Trump Tower seized by the New York State Attorney General. And these are the same liberal lunatics that had the nerve to call Trump a dictator. Talk about hypocrisy at its best. Now you take you know, an, an issue with this, of course, more broadly in terms of what it means to be in an American business structure, Kevin. But in terms of the valuation, can you be clear as to why, I mean, why would the properties not be sufficient collateral? What a great message to send out all around the world. Take a claim where there was no monies lost. Uh, for, uh, there, was no, there was no fraud here in the context of actually people losing money. Deutsche Bank, who made the loan, was made whole. And let's make a penalty of half a billion dollars against a, a, a crime, apparently, where no monies were lost. Great message for New York. Great message for America. Bring your capital because we'll protect your property. I think that was a statement that would be much better made sometime in Venezuela. I'm not kidding. That's a scary, scary message. And by the way, uh, there are again, no such thing as half a billion dollar bonds. The there are no half a billion dollar bonds. Never been done before. Never. This law has never been applied. Forget about Trump. Nothing to do with Trump. Everything to do about America and the New York brand. I love this state. My children live here. A horrible message to everybody around the world watching this. Absolutely horrific. Well, this wait, Kevin, Kevin, but, but hold on a second. Kevin, Trump what will be, be the, gone one day. Hold, this hold attorney on a second. general I, will be gone one day. And this I is what you want to I have a wonderful voice and it won't be talked this over. Is how hold, we Kevin O'Leary, I would like to this hear what you have to not say, but America. what are you doing? I, not but America. It, but it, it's not, not America, America, but it is the Laura Coates live show, and I am speaking. Good old CNN, the grift that just keeps on grifting day after day. And I honestly don't know how the Cancer Narrative Network is still on the air because their ratings stink just about as bad as their journalistic integrity. And every time we break down one of their clips, it's always some smug activist just raring to go with the nonsense. Like you could tell that that girl in red was. But God bless Kevin O'Leary for always setting these people straight on the facts. And it looked like he was debating Dumb and Dumber up there. And that's why that host had to interject and interrupt him at the end because she knew that they couldn't rebuttal any of the truth bombs that he just dished out. And that's where I have to give props to Fox News this time because I know none of these mainstream media outlets are dependable most days. But this time they actually respected Mr. Wonderful's wisdom and allowed him to break down all of this insanity with this Trump bond and all these cases. So take a look at this. I don't think it's a case about Trump at all anymore. Uh, I think people should be thinking about the policy being put in place here, the competitive, competitiveness of New York State versus other U.S. states, but more importantly, the message about the American brand. Hmm. You think about America, the reason this is the number one economy on earth is that we have laws and we have due process and we have property rights. It attracts foreign capital from all around the world. All of that is being shaken to the core here. The concept of seizing assets in 30 days on a bond number that's never been issued. No insurance bond company's ever issued anything near this, so there was no chance it was going to happen. And only giving 30 days notice and time, that's a really bad message. And I think New Yorkers should think well past Trump. Whether he's president or not, or whether this attorney general is gone in four years or not, it's irrelevant. This is case setting against the American brand, the most stable country on earth anywhere to put capital work over a long period of time, particularly in real estate, is the United States of America. This is an, this is an assault on what we believe to be core. And I, I find it extraordinary. 
I think it's very troubling. It has absolutely nothing to do with Donald Trump at this point, in my view, and it is completely bipartisan. This is an attack on America. Hmm. And, and I don't know how you can look at it any other way. And as, a, as an investor, and I know plenty of investors who are completely disturbed by this, but I mean, no one is going to put any money to work in New York in, in these amounts until this thing settles down. The whole world is watching, and everybody's waiting for one thing we haven't got yet, adult supervision. Hmm. Where is it? Where are the adults in this crazy narrative? Certainly there's got to be adult supervision at some point. And I understand, you know, the, the war going on here and all the political, yada, yada, woof, woof, woof. But we need an adult in the room now. This is the United States of America under siege. These liberals, y'all, they got to be puffing some next level kind of high high to come up with a wonky number like that. Half a billion dollars for a bond? Are you kidding me? They know it's not feasible. They know it is completely unwarranted and it's disgusting what they're doing to Trump. They don't think it is, but we recognize that that's what it is. So what Don overvalued his buildings and this is America. All the blessings that you see around us, they weren't free. There was a lot of work that went into making this the greatest nation on God's earth. And you got to be a real special kind of stupid to undervalue your own property and ask for less money than it's worth. But hey, that's your prerogative. I thought the goal in real estate when you take on any of these endeavors is for your property to appreciate in value. And for these spiteful slime balls like Letitia James to make a living off of trying to destroy Trump and wrongfully attempt to seize his ass sets is straight up evil. And Lord, I am praying for Trump and his family more than ever before, because at this point, the Trump derangement syndrome and the lengths that these people have gone to attack this man, I can't even put it into context how evil and diabolical these people are. Letitia James and this judge should be in jail for extortion and completely disbarred for abusing the justice system. This is an embarrassment to all of America how corrupt these court cases have been against our own former president. Just think about that, y'all. This is unprecedented in our times. And if Trump actually did even a fraction of what he's been accused of doing, honestly, he could run as a Democrat. The only qualifications and uh, you know things that they look for to deem a candidate fit for that position is to be as dirty as you can. They'll idolize you. They'll glorify you. They'll act like your stuff don't stink. But in reality, behind the scenes, the man, you wouldn't even want to imagine what's going on. But thank God Trump actually puts America first. And that's why I'm voting MAGA in 2024. I pray y'all do the same. And it may look grim and uncertain right now, but I truly believe that God is going to put Trump back in that White House. And these radical libs will get exactly what's coming for them, exactly what they deserve. They will be judged based on their deeds. But I'll stop right there because I'm fired up and I can continue this thing for days. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this. Drop a comment below. Let's keep the conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my beautiful wife. This one says created with a purpose. It has it on the chest and on the sleeve. It's based on Ephesians 2 verse 10. I like mine a little baggy, so it seems a little extra room to move and groove, but we got all different sizes ranging from itty bitty extra small to big big and hefty 5x a bunch of colors different designs all of that i'm sure you can find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love outside of that you can always join the gibson family here on youtube and become a member you can buy me a coffee you can join the patreon family all those links are down below as well by no means do you have to do any of that just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes i am greatly appreciative i love y'all i cannot thank you enough until next time i'll be praying for you god's Speed, I'm gone.